Welcome back. Yeah. We're uh, working. Uh, we're working on variables on two yeah. sides. So now the letter is going to be on either side of the equal or the inequality sign. Before we can handle those. Let's just make sure we remember how to solve regular equations that only have one variable. What's the first thing I should do on this? You should add 26. Add or subtract? subtract. Yeah, subtract because the sign is a positive there. So I'm going to add 26 to both sides. I'm going to need help with this big number over here. Negative 190. Negative 190. I'm going to divide both sides by negative 19. And x equals 10. Yes. Positive yes. 10. Positive 10. All right. Let's look at the inequality next. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so I can get the inequality there because I know a few of you are probably still copying the equation. I have a fraction. How do I get rid of fractions? Multiply by what? The three because it's the denominator. So to get rid of fractions, you multiply by the denominator. That gets rid of the fraction, and I'm left on the left-hand side with n plus 181. And over here, she's telling me that negative 14 times 3 is negative 42. Need the end by itself, so I'm going to subtract 181 from both sides. And n is greater than or equal to? 228. 223. 23, okay. And I do need to draw the inequality little graph number line thing. I need to graph the solution. Here's the zero. This is negative, so it's going to be somewhere over here. I don't care where. Just going to shove it there somewhere. It's an include because I have the or equal to. And my variable's on the left, so I'm going to go toward the arrow that looks like that. That's this way. So coloring in all of this. All right. All right. 